Ah, hello there. Thank you for checking out our video. This is Same Shit Different Day Multigaming. And today we're going to show you how to prepare Grand Theft Auto 4, the Steam version, for modification on a PC. Now, first thing you do is you download Grand Theft Auto 4 for Steam. And what you want to do is you want to play it once. You want to launch the game, let it build some uh, some configuration files that are tailor-made for your system, your CPU, your GPU, and your chipset. Uh, this is something you don't really have to do in the console versions because every console is the same. The hardware on your Xbox or PS3 is the same exact hardware on your buddy's Xbox or PS3. If that wasn't the case, then what would be the point of a console? So, anyway. As you can tell, first time around, it takes a little bit of time for it to launch. But, so far so good. We've got our copyright logo. We've got our trade... or uh, what is it? Trademark logos. And now we've got our Rockstar logo. Rockstar North. Grand Theft Auto 4. Alright. Now that we know that everything works, we can just quit. Quit. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, next up, what we want to do is right click on this in Steam, and we want to go to Properties. This is uh, in your games library, right here. So you right click on it, go to Properties, click on Updates, and right here, do not automatically update this game. Okay, now close, close, now we're good. Now, from here on out, we're not going to need Steam anymore, so we can just exit. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to back up our entire Grand Theft Auto folder. Uh, usually, if you're in a standard 32-bit system, it's in program files, but since I'm running a 64-bit Windows, it's going to be program files x86. So, see program files, go down to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 4, GTA 4, and here is your folder. This is Grand Theft Auto, right here. You're looking at it. Now let's go back, and we're going to hold down right click, drag it over, and you see how it says move to desktop? This is why we don't left click. Now let go right click, and a menu comes up, and we'll just copy it. Okay. Now that's going. Now what we also want to do is we want to go back to common and we want to create a shortcut to this folder because we don't want to have to be going through the file system back and forth like that. This is just convenience right here. And now that we don't need that anymore, we can close it. <coughs> now next up, we're going to go through our file list. First file you want to download is the Grand Theft Auto 4 patch version 1040. Next. We're going to need the Rockstar Games Social Club Client version 1.3. Then we're going to get X Liveless. Download links are down here. Next up, we're going to get the GTA 4 Fonts mod. This is not really much of a mod as more of a fix. I'll show you exactly what it fixes later in the video. Then we're going to want to get the Ice Enhancer 2.1. This is the newest version. You, when you go to this guy's site, you click this image, and this changes. You click the image again, and you're loaded to AdFly. Wait a couple of seconds, give this guy some money because he really does deserve it. Skip Add, and download your file. Next, we're going to go and install OpenIV. This is version 1.0. Probably not the newest, but this is the most stable. And then, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to install a vehicle mod. This one being Roman's Taxi. Right. So that's the file list. I will have everything linked to you in the description below. And as for this, I'll just speed the video up. And we're back. Alright, now let's get going and modifying this thing. So, I have all my files here. First thing we want to do 
Grand Theft Auto 4 patch. There we go. That's that. Now we're going to want to run this as administrator. Okay, that's done. Next up, we're going to go back. We're going to go back into our folder. And we're going to rename this GTA folder something else. Anything. Anything but GTA IV. Then we're going to go ahead. Extract that. Oh, uh, real quick. To extract these uh, RAR files, you're going to need either WinRAR or 7-Zip. I prefer to use 7-Zip. I just like it. So, with that done, let's, uh, oh, whoops, let's go ahead and run that as administrator. Okay, now this just made this. We're going to take this and cut it, and we're going to paste it in here. Now that that's done, we can delete the old folder, and we'll rename this original folder back to GTA IV. Next, we're going to install xliveless. This is simple, you just copy these, drag them in here, and that's done. Now, here's the tricky bit. What a lot of people don't know, don't realize, and what really discourages them from uh, playing this game. When you go here, um, you have to do this. This prevents something called drunk camera. When you're driving around, the camera doesn't really stay with you very well. Um, launching Grand Theft Auto from this icon is uh, much better. I've already created my old one for my last game here, but just, that's how you create a new one. You just drag it over, create shortcut, and there. Alright, now, to get the most out of your graphics, you're going to want to right click on the GTA shortcut that you made, properties, and go to the end right here, all the way to the end, go space, minus sign, no restrictions, and click apply. And now this will unlock the full capability of Grand Theft Auto in with using today's modern graphics. Uh, let's see what's next. So now let's show you what happens when you don't install the font fix. Play offline. Okay. Now, what's missing? Yeah, all the stuff on the bottom. It's all missing. So let's Alt F4 and close it. And now to fix this weird little bug, we'll go back in our GTA folder. Inside here, we'll go to Common and Data. And we'll take the contents of Fonts and just drag it right in here. Copy and replace, copy and replace. Now when we launch the game, we'll have our fonts again. So, let's do that now and show you. Play offline. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to turn on my uh, Xbox 360 controller. Uh, I was down at Fry's Electronics and this guy, Nick, uh, helped me out. And he got me a receiver for my Xbox controller that lets me plug it into the PC. Very handy. And, if you've noticed, uh, we've got our menu back. Our fonts work again. And that's how that works. You just drag it in and it's done. Now, we'll uh, 
load up the original version of the game and show you what the default looks like, the default graphics. Okay, and we're done. Third place on Mohawk. He's just up the road. I'll let you know when we're there. A lot of nice people, but the politicians like to throw out votes and take over the country. Don't let them win Liberty City. You hear me? Let's do some music. And Asshole. Why don't you show me around the city? Fucking terrorists! What terrorists? There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. You without the visa. We are passing the cab office, Nico. This is the business that will take us to the top of the pile. I would stay in Broker. Fuck it, stay in Hove Beach. Everyone like us does. Nico, you ever had two women at once? Four big titties to be playing with? Mr. Samda Chiomrati, io tici your right, Chovice. This is the mansion? <laughs> Just a temporary place. The mansion is coming. Cousin. All right. Now That's that we've got that settled, Follow you get a good look at the graphics. Let's close this down. Now, next thing that we're going to do is install the ice enhancer. We'll go back to our folder again. GTA IV. We'll go in here. Ice enhancer 2.1 files. And these are all the files that we're going to be using. So click on one, doesn't matter. Control A, and that selects all. And we'll take the contents of this and just drag it all in here. And that's somebody calling. Hey, man.